Hi guys, Amy here with Profiles Backstage Swag, and this is your May Swag, or should I call it Schmay, because I don't quite know where these last few months went. <laughs> so anyway, we've got some new products here, and I'm going to show you guys some easy ways to use them. I'm sure you've used Spider Gel before, um, but this is just some really fun, bright colors, just for some easy, fun summer nail art. So to get started, your ingredients and your May swag was three of the six colors of the Neon Spider. Your black micro mylar, which is like tiny irregular pieces of black mylar sheets. Super fun, super easy to use, looks really good against the black, I'm sorry, the Neon Spider gel. I just love neon with, um, with black. Anyway, um, I forgot to put this on the cards but you did get either a sweet talker or an undercover agent i'm wearing the undercover agent this one is the sweet talker these are probably our two most popular nudes one slightly pinker than the other but i use these probably these are my go-to's i use them all the time not only do i use them all the time but i wear them all the time and then you've got your three-piece neon spider gel tools some of you prefer to use a brush with your neon or with your spider gels. Some prefer to use the daughter tool end. It just depends. You'll get thinner lines with using a brush, a little bit more control using a brush, thicker, uh, more prominent lines using your tools. And of course the tools are different, um, different sizes. So it's totally a preference thing, but now you've got both to try. So just getting some tips prepped here with one of the Sweet Polish colors, putting a couple coats on. All right, so now we've got three tips and we're gonna take and put these micro mylar shreds right into the sticky layer of the gel polish. So I put a couple coats on, cured, and now we're gonna lay this right into the sticky layer. And I'm just using a little bling brush, picking up a few pieces, and just pressing it on where I want it. Then I just use my finger and kind of press them in. And because they're so fine, they're gonna lay really flat. And then next, I am gonna use a matte top coat. You can do this obviously with a shine or a matte. I like the look of the spider gel neon over a matte nail. So we're going to put a coat of matte top coat on and cure. So now we're going to do this again. This time I will put on outshine for a shiny top so that you guys can see the difference in the two. But again, just put your micro mylar shreds on there, press in and top coat. All right, and our matte top coat one is finished. So let's open up a few of these spider gels. And we're gonna work with green first. So I'm gonna start with just using the medium sized dotting, dotting tool. And best way to do this is work directly over the jar. And just get in there, get a nice string, and just wrap it around. And sometimes you end up with a little bit too much on there, so just kind of let it hang for a second, stretch out a little bit more, and you'll get a nice thin line and not too, too thick. Unless, of course, that's what you're going for. The spider gel is great because either way is going to be fine. It just depends on the design that you want. Now, if you're doing thicker lines, like with the dotting tool, you can see that they will kind of start to run together a little bit. So you might want to just give it a quick flash cure so they stop moving. Now, you won't see this if you're doing really, really thin lines with the brush side. 
I only see it when it's a thicker line. So we'll give that a quick flash cure. And then we're going to go up the other side and give it that kind of X across the nail, which is what was in your swag picks. Perfect. So we'll let that cure. And now we're going to take our shiny and we're going to do the same thing. And we'll grab the pink this time. And again, working right over the pot. This time we're going to use a brush. And you'll see you're going to get finer lines with the brush. So it's, again, just preference. Depends on the design that you're doing. And I do believe working with the brush side also gives me a little bit more control when I'm picking up the product. It's not as thick. And you saw I just took the brush to kind of pull and break away. And then I am flash curing. And I know it looks easier on a tip than it is an actual finger, but even in the salon when I'm doing the spider gel on a um, on a guest, I will kind of turn their hand so that it's easier to get the different sides and the different angles with the spider gel. So we'll go ahead and cure this when we're done. Your spider, spider gel is a 30 second cure. And it does leave a slight sticky layer. So I don't top coat the spider gel. I like to leave it so it's got that good dimension. So you can top coat it, of course, if you want to, but you don't have to. And you're just gonna wanna use like alcohol to wipe off that sticky layer. So something else that I wanted to show you guys the blue is not as bright as I would like it. So what I'm gonna do is just take a dollop of white magic. You could also use white dab gel if you have that. Um, I wouldn't use anything drier than the dab gel. The white magic seems to be really good because it's so, so opaque. And I'm just adding a tiny drip of it in there. You don't need much. This is going to brighten it up a little bit and make it look a little bit more neon. So this is just a little mini spatula and I'm going to go in and kind of slowly stir. And just keep going until it mixes well. You would think this would get really messy, but the spider gel stays together really well. So just keep spinning. You don't want to go out and in too much because you don't want to create a lot of air bubbles. So just get in there and almost like you're kneading it. And you can already tell how much it's brightened up. Perfect. And just remember, don't overdo it with that. It'll lose the elasticity of the gel. Just, you saw how little white we put in there. You don't need a lot to brighten it up. All right, so we're gonna take our last tip here. We're gonna put some matte top coat on it. All right, so here's the two we did before. They just came out of the light and we're gonna just wipe that tacky layer off of the spider gel. It's not a really sticky, sticky layer, but there's a little bit of tack on it. So you do just wanna rub a little bit of alcohol over it. So you can see the difference between the shiny and the matte. I'm a more, more of a fan of the matte, but you know, again, preference. So now we're going to do something a little bit different and something a little bit more controlled. 
And if you wanted to just make perfect lines with your spider gel, obviously work again over the pot and just kind of stretch it. And I stretch it up pretty far and then lay it down. And then I touch the tip a little bit and the brush helps to kind of break it off. So it gives you a little bit more control. I feel when I'm working with the tool, it's got a little bit too much product on the tool. So on the daughter side is what I mean. And it doesn't allow you to really break it easy. So your lines get a little squiggly at the end. So there we go. Just kind of roll it and break it off. You could see that one was a little bit heavier. So when you're working with it heavier, that's when it's going to be harder for you to break the string. So learning how to do that towards the cuticle or the sides, how, wherever you're doing your design. I am also going to do this on an actual finger so that you guys can see how I do it in the salon when it's not just like a plastic tip that you can just touch and move. All right, so again, I'm using the brush part of the tool, and I to break it, I can just touch her skin and right around the cuticle area. And because technically on the tip, we're going around and around and around, but if we did this on a finger, you've got it all underneath the finger, and it's going to make quite a mess. So now I just go one way and even stretch it back the other way, but break it by touching her skin or connect it by touching her skin, I should say. That way you get it all the way up to the side wall and then just kind of scrape away with your nail or like an orange wood stick with some cotton on it. And we're gonna do the same to the other side. Just touch the skin. And when you're doing this on a real person, it's going to um, adhere to the skin a little bit better. This is one of those silicone hands. So when I'm touching, it's not wanting to um, break away because the silicone is kind of not as porous as a regular fingernail would be or a cuticle area So you'll find it pretty easy to do on a client And again, just use your nail just to kind of get it out of the sidewall before you cure And then go ahead and cure Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing, but we're going to go up and touch the cuticle to break it away and this will allow you to get nice clean lines without any squiggles at the top or the bottom and it allows you to get all the way up to the cuticle And then just quickly use a little bit of cotton and a little bit of alcohol to, of course, clean the cuticle before we cure. All right, and that's all finished. So here's a picture of all the designs that we did today. Super easy. I hope you guys have fun with the neon spider gel. 
The remainder of the colors will be up on the website this afternoon. And make sure you guys subscribe so that you get notifications every time we post a new video. And if you have any questions about the Profiles swag bag, the monthly swag, please go to profilesbackstage.com and let us know if you have any questions. Make sure you tag us in all your creations. Have fun. Stay safe. Stay healthy.